Right. So there was people called Canaanium, Canaanite. Those are the people who actually are. This this is if you want to go. This is as far back as we can go, even biblically, right? So the people who are actually have the right to the land are the Canaanites. Now the thing is this. The interesting is, is this: is both Muslims, Palestinians, and Jewish people who are living, not the ones who came from abroad, because I'm going to talk about them in a second, right? Okay. The Jewish people who are living in Palestine, that land, and the Muslims, both of them mixed with the Canaanites. Because what happened is, is when Moses he was trying to go to the land of Canaan, he died before entering. Yeah. Well, who ended up entering was Joshua. I'm just saying the biblical history now. So when Joshua enter, entered, unfortunately, he slaughtered everyone, their children, this and that. And then they took over the land forcefully. And then you had the 12 tribes who had different locations in the land at that time. Judah had a specific part, and etc. This is what happened, right? But the Canaanites were the original people in the land. Now, later on, when Muslims also took the land, right? Late, way later on, because when Jewish people took the land, there was a Syrian, a Syrian uh, people took it from them the Assyrian exile, then the, you have the Babylonian exile, then you have the Roman Empire also destroying the temple, all of these things that happen, right? Way before Muslims went there. When Muslims went there, Muslims also mixed with the uh, with the Canaanites, so the original people of the time. So you have now Jewish people who are mixed with the Canaanites, and you have Arabs who are mixed with the Canaanites. And you have far more Arabs mixed with the Canaanites than you have Jewish people. Do you know why? Because the Jewish, many Jewish people have left the land later on, and there was Muslims having the land for the majority of time way later after the conquest of the Muslims took the land we had it for a very long time so then the people who are living today most of them are descendants from a mixture between the Canaanites and the Arabs right so they are the original people who have the claim to the land by the way this is history right now what do you say now the Jew look need, we have no problem I need is my mate here to, who could have well you're Jewish yourself you. right you're Jewish yeah, right but I, don't, I can't go back but, but you see the thing is this I'll tell you this that's why I told you I was disagreeing with you based, yeah. based on facts right the thing is this a lot of the people are born in Israel and different parts and they're told a specific part of the history like some people think history started from October the 7th this start from October no, the 7th, because, right? because because um, Gaza, Hezbollah, and Houthis, and everyone was, well, it started way before then because you've been, yeah, but even been before the missiles in before October the 7th. Excellent, but, but now this is only one side you're taking, you're not taking the other side. I'll tell you this, okay, let's let's trace back because I like history, well, can yeah? Can I just say, okay, yeah. I don't necessarily agree with the occupation of the West Bank. Okay, good. I, I like that, when, that's good. Right. Yes, that's but, fair. But when and when? the settlements, you don't agree with the settlements, taking people's houses, kicking them out, and then saying, literally... Well, all, all I know is that when when the Jews were given, given Israel in 1948, no, no, but, uh, we said, yes. the people said, uh -huh. stay, stay, we're all lived together. That's not true. But the Arab countries surrounding yes. said, no, get out of there, you don't want to live in, in, a, in a, in, with the Jews. Okay, that's the, the version... And then they didn't, want, they didn't want the Palestinians either, so okay. that's how you ended up in Gaza. This is the version of history that I'm telling you, that the, yeah. the, the history didn't start from 1948 as well. That's why I'll take you even further back, because I'm a very nice guy, right? Because look, I love history. Because no one can come and say to me, this happened, and as if I don't know the history. I know, and I studied the history of that land very well, because this is a, a very important land for us as Muslims as well, right? Because of, of most there. Why can't we just live together then? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. You'll be interested now in about to tell you. Before 1970, yeah. before 1970, it was a, do you know who Herzl was? Herzl. Herzl. Yes. Herzl was the founder of this movement of Zionism to begin with, right? Herzl sent well, a letter. To be a Zionist is just to be pro-Israel. No, it's, it, not, it's not a terrorist organization. Yeah, yeah, there's it's different. To be pro-Israel. Yeah, I believe the, the, the state of Israel today is a terrorist organization. That's my, and I'll tell you why. But before that, let's just identify what I want to tell you, which is history, right? So Herzl, he sent a letter to to uh, the British at that time, right? And he wanted that specific land. The British Empire offered them one of two lands, Portugal and Palestine, the land of Palestine. It was not their land. No, they were not living there all their life. They were not living there. This is history. No one disagrees with this. This is in the UN mentioned, right? So there was a land there. Then the, the British offering a land that is not their own to the Jewish people saying, okay, which one do you like? Do you like this land, Portugal, or do you like this land, Palestine? Which one do you want to get? And then with the Arabs, they promised the Arabs, help us, help us against the Ottomans, and then we'll give you the land later on. And then when the Arabs helped them defeat the Ottomans, later on, they said, oh, Arabs, oh, we, we were just joking, you know? We told you we'll give you the land, but no, we're not gonna give you the land. We're actually gonna give it to these Jewish people, because this guy, our, our friend Herzl, said he likes this land over, over Portugal, right? And what ended up happening is that you had these ships, massive, massive ships, coming from Europe, all over Europe. Why? 
because you know Jewish people, Hitler was following them and you went all over Europe. So now Herzl is going to bring all of these millions of people and say, okay, all of you come. The ships, these pictures of the ships, everything is recorded historically. Go over there and take this land now of Palestine. Now, before 1917, the king in Palestine at the time was opening the door for Jewish people to enter, surprisingly. So now we're talking about living together. Muslims, Christians and Jews were living together before 1970s. All of them. No, 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 but you're missing. And stuff. They're still living together. Yes, yes. So I'm saying this. Sorry, what you're saying was there. People were living together. But what ended up happening, starting from 1970 to what you say, 1948, the population of the Jewish people went from, uh, I think, 10% until 30%. Either from 10% to 30%. Do you know whose stats is this? It's the UN stats. Not a Muslim organization telling you this. The UN is telling you they went three times the numbers of people. Uh -huh. This is not birth rate. You cannot jump from 10 to the and from 1970. Yeah, where, where did they come from? I'm telling you, UN, you can Google it right now. Where did they come from? From ships? From abroad? From Poland? From this? From that? From Scotland? From whatever? The Sweden? Coming all over. And now what they ended up doing, they don't have houses. It's not, and it's not enough houses. Millions of people coming in. There's no houses. So what we end up doing is we end up making these illegal settlements. We end up taking over people's houses. And then there's massacres that takes place because there's a people who are not going to be happy giving you their house. I'm not going to say, okay, welcome to my house. Enter, I'm going to leave, right? Been living here all my life, generations after generations. Mixed with the camera Canaanites, original people of the land, what we were talking about, huh? So, what ended up happening is all of these illegal settlements. The UN condemns the illegal settlements. It agrees with that. It says, when people talk about UN law, the same UN that is mixed with the British that gave you the land is the same that is condemning these illegal settlements, that is saying that people are, their houses are being taken. You know, there's two million people living in a concert, in a living open air prison. And you know that Israel prevents air, prevents this and that, or no water, no food, this and that, for, for prolonged period of times and then they say give us Hamas but the people, what are you telling give us Hamas Hamas are hiding under the tunnel you're telling basic women and children you know population of us 70% women and children you're telling women and children go give us Hamas who's hiding under the tunnels with weapons what are you going to do for you and why did Hamas exist to, Hamas exist to begin with they existed because you took over the land forcibly and now they're trying to defend to take the land back objective facts now they see yeah, UN, the same UN no, no 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 but the same UN if you accept the UN law, if that is the standard, it says yeah, that people... The UN can be a bit biased as well. The UN, ident every, you know, every human right organization identifies that this is an illegal oc oc occupation. Find me one that it doesn't. Okay, so Not just the UN. What is your yeah. feelings about what's going on at the moment then? Well, my feelings is, is of heartbreak, of sadness, is that I see my brothers and sisters being... Because I... I was born in Israel, okay. but my parents didn't stay there very long. They came over here. Okay. So I went to Israel on October the 5th, okay. and it's the first time that I've been back to Israel for 26 years. Okay. And of course, then October the 7th happened, okay. Okay. which was luckily we were in Tel Aviv. Okay. But you, you were know, far away, yeah. Still going to the bomb shelters and hearing all the news. And in fact, one yeah. of the missiles came down at 50 meters, oh, 50 yes. meters from where we were standing. Okay. So we came back home quite traumatized. Okay. What, what are your feelings on Hamas? I'll answer you now. Happened? I'll answer you. And I, I want you to think about what oh, I'm saying now very carefully. Imagine me, I'm saying I was terrified because there is a missile 50 meters away from me. And me saying uh, a missile has came down, killed my whole family in front of my own eyes. I'm collecting the remnants of my children with my hands. This is what the everyday life of the Gazan people. Now, when you have an iron dome... What is your view, what is your yeah. view on... Would you be happy if Hamas were gone and, the, and there was a Palestinian Look, leader? Look, I believe the people who had the, living the lives for generations should be living the lives for generations. If they were Jewish people who didn't come from Europe, taking people's land, they were living there, they were welcome to stay, and they were welcome to stay under the Islamic empire at the time. No one kicked them out. So I'm saying the people who are born in these lands, generation after generation, living in the land are the people who are ought to stay in the land. So you won't Anyone. condemn, you won't condemn oh, yeah. October the 7th? Look, I cannot condemn October. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Yeah. Fighting for their rights. I'll tell you what I'll condemn. But I'll tell you what I'll condemn. That they, yeah. they caused. I'll tell you. And I had family. Yes. I, some of the people were were friends of family. Yes, yes. That were, that were massacred. Yes. 
he told you he's Palestinian. If he tells you how many yeah. people of his family members, are, and you see, and yeah, he treats you with respect, with no, nothing, no, and you, yeah, we, we don't. You with respect. Yes, yes. So we, we don't, we don't like carry that and put, put it on other people who didn't do anything, right? Yeah. The thing is, when you say condemn, remember I said to you in the beginning, history did not start, start October the seventh. I cannot condemn something that has tens of years of persecution behind it. If you know how many children were killed before October the seventh, you know how many attacks, how many uh, raids of the, the Israeli arms. I had an IDF soldier, except Islam, in one of my online streams. He talked about what they used to do to the Palestinians before October the 7th. For years, he's talking about how they went, how the guns on the children, the children pissed themselves, and how how ridiculous what these people were doing. But how do we move forward then? How I'll tell you. I'll come to that. That's an excellent question. So when you ask me what do I condemn, I can I condemn the killing of any innocent, innocent women and children. Any, any party, any side, I don't care. I condemn that. Yeah. And I believe the people who are the original people living for, for generations are the people who are supposed to say, if you came from someone else, go back to your country. You came from Poland, you're a Polish person. I don't care if you're Israeli or, or, or Palestinian or whatever it is. You came from another country, you cannot take someone else's house, kick him out and say, I'm going to stay. So how do we solve it, you say? We solve it by, by what I'm telling you, is that the people who took other people's land, because by the way, I speak to a lot of Israeli people and they admit it. The people who are settlers there, they say, yes, we know. We came from, we came. I'm, 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 yes. I'm, I'm against the the very religious Israeli nutters. Okay. The, the I'm not calling them terrorists, but I'm calling them. I'm trying to think. What I'm calling them um, extremists on e on any side. I'm against extremists. Do you know what I told you? Any side. Excellent. But you should then you should be honest then enough to say that the Israeli government is a terrorist organization. I'll tell you why. Since October the seventh, do you know how many journalists were killed? Do you know how many hospitals were bombed? Do you know how many children died? Do you All know how I many? Know is that things like the this is not war. Reported uh, uh, that Israel bombed a hospital, which they didn't do, and then and then it's not reported that we're not talking that about Hamas leave the BBC. The UN is neither with Muslims nor with or, nor with it. It's a, supposed I don't know, to be. That's kind of a why would the, the UN? Well, why would the UN that, that invaded Muslim countries essentially be on the side of Muslims? That makes no sense. Most of the governments that make the UN essentially are governments that support Israel politically. So no one can come and say these people are supporting Muslims. That makes no sense because that's why they're not doing sanctions. They're admitting these war crimes. They're war crimes, but not they're not doing sanctions. They're not intervening essentially. Even in the court where they were shown that, they, that Israel is wrong, nothing happened. So the UN is more on the side of Israel than anyone else. But the same thing, this UN is giving you the stats, the numbers, that you have tens of thousands of women and children massacred and, and killed. You have hundreds of reporters. Those same reporters, they tell you, they're living there and they have videos online, right, on Instagram themselves. They're showing you what, how they've been treated, how they're being killed, how their brothers, their sisters, they're there, they're just filming. The reporters, independent, they're not with the army, they're not with anyone. Well, you're, you're you're seeing, and what I'm seeing on my Instagram page are going to be completely public. But I'm seeing both sides. I've seen it. That's why I told you. That's why when I was telling you, I know what history you're told. I know. I know what they show you. They tell you, okay, look, they show you, okay, this bomb, we're bombed here. This happened to our. Part. All the missiles are coming. Hide under the. And then you have all of these sirens and this. They make you live in a movie, in which you think that everything is wrong, while in reality you have an iron dome that intercepts over 99% of the missiles. That if anything goes. Yeah. yeah, if anything goes, uh, and then you have, do you know, saw them coming over do, you, do you know you have hundreds, you know, hundreds, hundreds of, of, of airships, uh, tanks, uh, battleships in the in the field, an army, a navy, you know what the Palestinians have? Nothing. And then you have no army. Yeah, but they're funded by Iran, so they have everything. No, not really, not, not really Iran, but, but whatever they're funded by, do you know how they're building the missiles, these people? These people, they're, they're looking for the, uh, the, the leftovers, yeah. the leftovers. And, they, and they're using all, all Do you know why? That comes in. Why? No, no, not that. No, it's not about the aid. I'm telling you, think about how much these people are struggling. You will never go to the extent to literally make a, a missile diving in the sea, finding the, the leftovers of ships that was broken, and trying to get, make, a, make a, a weapon or make a missile, except if your life, you have nothing. You have no other options. Every day you're being persecuted and killed. You have nothing. You're looking for any way that you, how can I defend myself? How can I do anything? So these people, what 
I'm telling you is you have airplanes and you have continuous bombings on civilians. And then later on they say, and by the way, there are videos of targeted civilians. Videos. They're targeting civilians. There are videos of them shooting people on the borders. Hamas. Yeah. Like Hamas died in schools, in hospitals. That's what they parents. tell you. They could have put, you know the interesting is this? The people in the tunnels. Do you know what they did? They went to one of the hospitals, uh, Shifa Hospital, and they claimed that Hamas was there and there was no evidence. They, they, they showed, oh, these are the names of Hamas, and it says Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This is the names of the week. They implanted evidence, and it was shown in the video, in the video itself, that they posted, they, it showed. Again, I saw, I saw a Palestinian woman on one of the videos that I saw, who was crying and wailing. When she thought she was off camera, she was having a, a joke with, her, with the person next to her. No, let me so agree, let, let, me, let me be kind enough to say, I agree with you, this happened. In comparison, how many hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands of real cases are there? You need to look. In Israel, show me pictures of children that are dead. Go ahead. Right now, after October 7th, you cannot bring me one picture. Do you know how many I can show you of pieces of children and women? Do, do you see the magnitude? It's like saying... So... I'll tell you, if you want, what can you do? I'll tell you what you can do. The people in Israel are going to move out of Israel. So, okay. At the moment, Israel is surrounded by Gaza, by Syria, by Iran, by uh, But none of, these Gaza, none of these governments are doing anything. In reality. What's going to happen? I'll tell you, look. What the people, the people who have humanity in them, who actually have any sense of humanity in them, whether you are from a Jewish lineage or whatever it is, you will condemn the actions of the Israeli terrorists Israeli government is doing, killing journalists, women and children, not civilians. We say, look, we're happy you want to do face-to-face -face battle. Army versus Hamas will be the first person to do it. Go ahead, fight. But all they have to do is release hostages. No, no, but, but the thing but is this. Do you, know the, do you know how many hostages... are either pregnant or dead. No, do you know how... That's not true. The hostages were released in video. Hamas showed them and they were fine. The woman was crying. She was saying they didn't rape me. So I felt emotionally raped because they didn't rape me. Which makes no sense in my mind. In video, She's saying the Israeli woman that was released. I can show you now the footage of them releasing after October 7th, releasing some of them. Do you know how many prisoners are there before October the 7th from the Palestinians that they're not released? They're talking about a group of people who were taken after October 7th. You are missing how many tens of thousands of people who are there already in prisons of the Palestinians. The thing is, I'm telling you, you're not looking at the other side. The thing is, people, what happens is the people are under Netanyahu's government, who's already people who are hating him. So he ended up now changing now everything. Oh, now we're focusing on October 7th. Don't focus on me anymore. People are supposed to be against that, that leader and say that we are against this. They shouldn't be killing him. If you want to fight, fight Hamas. When they went, try to go by land Hamas. They couldn't do anything. They went, they lost and they, and they went back. This soldier to soldier, why you have the most advanced weapon? Why are you not able to be? Do you know why? Because those people have been, you know, they, if they have one leg, they will fight. Because their father, grandfather, and great, great grandfather, sister, they were all bombed in front of their eyes. Every time you bomb, you create another Hamas soldier. Every time you kill innocent civilians, and you say, how can we solve? You're creating them. You solve it by giving these people the human dignity, a life to live just like everyone else, the Palestinian people. Yeah, but Hamas don't, even if these, they, they want to destroy, they, do, they, do, they want to destroy Jewish people. They want to exterminate and, and get rid of every last one. That, uh, look, I'll tell you honestly that there was many times where there was talks about peace between Hamas and, and the government. That's, I don't believe that's true, what you're saying. But essentially, I'm saying, you would agree with me, now objectively, historically, that the people came from Europe and took other people's land. You're asking me, what is the solution? There can only be one solution. If I went to your house right now, here in the UK, and kick... You know that's not gonna happen, though. Thank, thank you, thank you. So, so what can we do? The least we could do is we admit whose side is wrong. The side that took people's house is the first thing. Second thing is to condemn anything, any killing, as I did, of any innocent civilians from any party, and say, if you want to uh, be against Hamas, then it should be an army, a man-to-man. -man. This is what you should do. You shouldn't be momming hospitals and claiming that people are hiding under it. If I say to you, okay, look, let's say I'm, I'm one of the members of whatever, any organization, bad organization in the UK. Hypothetically, yeah, I'm not I'm with any organizations. I'm making that clear, yeah? So if I go and I hide in your house, is it justified for the for the government to bomb your house? This is essentially what you said. That makes no sense. What did you do? If I'm living in your house, like, what they're supposed to do is to try to find the means of how can we now save this innocent woman, right? What is the way to save this innocent woman and deal with this person, this whoever evil person that living in that place or hiding in that place? 
it's not a justification to claim that they're hiding in this place that I'm gonna kill all of these women and children. Do you know what, why it's really happened? It's happening because the less Palestinians are there, the easier we take that land. The, the easier now, we expand. The easier now, there's more room for, for more Israeli people to come. There's more room for people. This is why these bombings are happening. The justification of Hamas is what they're telling you. I think, I think at the end of it, we're going to agree to disagree. Well, we agree on a lot but of things. I, I've enjoyed talking to you. No problem, no problem. But I feel like I'm probably not that equipped. I need yes. someone who's more equipped to talk you to you. You can me. bring if you like, but the thing is yeah. this. What I'm telling you, as I said, is not my history. This is all. Every human right organization on the planet Earth has condemned Israel for, for illegal occupations, settlements, war crimes. Not a single land. And I'm telling you, the same UN law gives Hamas, says that, uh, that any land which has been illegally occupied, people are living there just like they did in South Africa. They fought against their occupiers. You have to fight. If you have no, if people are being killed, then you have to make a movement in which you will fight. What else? You said they're not going to leave. Is what you said exactly. They're not going to leave. So what else is the other option? If you're going to be continue treated as second, uh, third class citizens and being stopped from things and being uh, racist against us and trying to take our land and kick us out, doing everything to try to make us, we'll fight back. That's why the Palestinians. If you hear always, why are the Palestinians not leaving to other lands? They don't want to go. If you go to a Palestinian and say, leave. They'll say to you, I will die in my land. Why should I go to someone else's place? It's my house. I was born here. Generations of generations. Why are you telling me to go to Egypt or go to Syria? For what reason? So the thing is, we need to open our minds to actual history, which is what I was telling you from the beginning. If you want to talk about who had the, 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 the rights to the land by lineage, it was the Canaanites. And who's mixed with the Canaanites are the Palestinians of today. There's DNA tests that you can do. Now the people who are coming from uh, you know, Europe, these are not the people who are original to that land or indigenous. If you have uh, Israelis who are living there, Christians, and Muslims, welcome to stay. That's what I believe. And anyone who took a land that is not theirs, it should be taken away from them. But as you said, that's not going to happen. So we'll end up at least, what you could do is to speak out, to say this is wrong. I'm, I'm someone, you could say, and people will respect you for that. I'm someone who is, I live in Israel, I'm an Isra from an Israeli, but I condemn what the government is doing. It's not good to target, this is not okay to target children and hospitals and reporters and to claim that they're hiding, that like Hamas is hiding. It's not a justification. We're going to have to Agree, maybe just okay, think about what I said, you know. But, on this, but yeah, okay. Nice to meet I, I apologize, but we don't shake hands with the opposite, yeah, with the opposite gender in Islam. Okay. Women to men, women to men. Not, you know, not you, but it's just okay. anyone, right? Even the Muslim sisters, I, I cannot okay. do it, you know. But I, I, I appreciate I appreciate your manners. And you see, we still can have a discussion. Like, because a lot of people try to put this image that there's hatred. Look, if we see each other, we're going to buy. No, I'm an Arab, by the way, right? And Arabs, are, you know, people play this game. No, we can speak, we can speak, and we can come to conclusions we can agree to disagree right but we can put the facts people can decide right it was a pleasure talking to you though. read the quran you know nice talking to you see you bye bye